Now let us see what are the different pathways that glucose follows to produce the energy for different types of living organisms. So majorly the glucose follows three different pathways and the three different pathways are depending uh, the divided depending on the requirement of oxygen or there is non requirement of oxygen right okay so let us see what are the different pathways and where are the locations of different types of pathways that is taking place okay so the first one i will write in the presence of o2 that is oxygen so location is mitochondria okay and in the absence of o2 and the location is cells or organisms like yeast and some anaerobic bacteria and here the third one the third pathway that is followed that is lack of o2 and that takes place in the muscle cells of animals okay so that take this in the muscle cells of animals clear yeah? okay so when the oxygen is present then this particular pathway is followed by the glucose clear yeah? okay now the um, if the oxygen is present in the uh, cell then what happens after the pyruvic acid is produced the pyruvic acid enters into the cell organelle which is known as the mitochondria we have already studied that the mitochondria is the uh, powerhouse of the cell that means some way or the other it is related to the power generation that means the energy production for the cell so the final process of breaking down of glucose in the presence of oxygen that takes place in the mitochondria right so in that condition the pyruvic acid it enters into the uh, mitochondria and with many different biochemical reactions it produces the final product that is carbon dioxide plus water molecule plus 36 molecules of ATP clear so if the pyruvate is present in a cell or produced in a cell which is aerobic in nature that means oxygen is available then what is going to happen the pyruvate is going to follow this pathway clear so the pyruvate is going to follow this particular pathway and it enters into mitochondria and finally the end products are carbon dioxide water and 36 molecules of atp so this is the first pathway in the presence of oxygen if oxygen is there this particular pathway is followed suppose oxygen is not there so if oxygen is not there then what is going to happen so it happens in anaerobic organisms the organisms the cells mostly the um, uh, the first primitive categories like the monera category or some fungi like the yeast very few organisms who follow this absence in oxygen process so many bacteria yeast this follow the particular pathway so in such conditions what happens the end product will be so pyruvate it it doesn't go anywhere it remains so in east uh, we can say the example is east but location is cytoplasm is the location cytoplasm so anaerobic respiration takes place in the cytoplasm itself the aerobic respiration takes place in the mitochondria clear so first process that is the glycolysis is common for all it takes place in the cytoplasm whether it is a yeast cell whether it is a human cell whether it is a plant cell all the cells the first process that is the glycolysis will always take place in the cytoplasm and this is a common step for all living organism who are carrying out cellular respiration but after the glycolysis is over then the pathway is different 
So pyruvate pathways are different but glucose to pyruvate step is common for all living organisms and all the living cells. So now let us see what happens in the cytoplasm itself in the yeast. So we have already told that is called as alcoholic fermentation. So they follow a different pathway or a different reaction happens in yeast or bacteria or in such organisms. And the final product will be uh, ethanol plus carbon dioxide plus 2 ATP okay so the product is ethanol plus carbon dioxide plus two numbers of ATP so the 36 ATP are produced only in aerobic respiration where the complete breakdown of glucose takes place that means the maximum amount of energy is obtained only from the aerobic respiration where the complete breakdown complete oxidization of the oxidation of the glucose molecule takes place now in the uh, yeast cells or similar cells what happens alcohol is produced carbon dioxide is produced and two numbers of atp very less amount of atp so this process is called as the alcoholic fermentation now what happens in the muscle cells okay in the muscle cells suppose the pyruvic acid is following this pathway clear when there is lack of oxygen in the aerobic cells clear so the third category third pathway is followed by the same aerobic cells when there is lack of oxygen in the cell that means the cell which carries out this pathway same cell is capable of carrying out the aerobic respiration also when there is a huge amount of oxygen a large amount of oxygen is there but when there is lack of oxygen that means the cell is deprived of proper concentration of oxygen during that time the particular cell will follow another pathway it will acquire a different pathway just to meet the need of the hour so need of the moment is little bit of energy. So that energy can be obtained by following a different pathway. But the same muscle cell is capable of carrying out the aerobic respiration. So we will see what are the conditions when the muscle cell carries out aerobic respiration. What are the conditions when the muscle cell will carry out lactic acid fermentation. So the this particular anaerobic respiration, lack of oxygen, is called as the end products are lactic acid plus 2 ATP okay so lactic acid and 2 ATP are produced clear okay now what happens so uh, the same cell which can carry out this particular step when it is going to carry out the lactic acid fermentation it is when there is no oxygen and what are the conditions when there is no oxygen it is the rigorous exercise time when we are doing some rigorous exercise like we are running we are swimming or we are doing we are running out of the danger in all such conditions like a deer is running out of the lion deer is running ahead and the lion is behind so in such conditions the deer cannot stop it cannot stop running because if it stops it is going to get killed by the predator so in such conditions it has to keep moving when it is a running race condition you want to touch the finishing line in such conditions what happens you want to put all your effort to take the last breath and just touch the finishing line this is what happens so during that time what happens you get severe cramps severe leg pains in your uh, muscles of the leg right so the same thing happens whenever you carry out some rigorous exercise clear so in such conditions why what happens why the cramps why the pains happen it is because the same muscle cell when you are just walking sleeping or talking or reading the same muscle cell follows this procedure when you are not doing rigorous exercise when there is no lack of oxygen but when you are doing exercise you are not able to breathe properly when you are not able to breathe properly cells will be 
lacking the oxygen and when it is when there is lack of oxygen that means you need to switch over to some other mechanism to get little amount of energy suppose you are running you are not breathing properly but you want to touch the finishing line so you need to run more without the proper concentration of breathing and oxygen so in that case your muscles of the leg they will carry out this lactic acid fermentation clear and the cramps the pain what you get after you finish the running race that is only because of the accumulation of this lactic acid lactic acid is not uh, dissolvable properly in the blood it needs lot of time to get dissolved into the blood and be transported out of the cells and when you take rest that means the blood flow is more to the cells during that time more and more lactic acid can be taken out of the cell so many times it would have happened with you people when you take rest for some time you must be having severe leg pain in one evening after playing and the next day morning you feel very fresh it is all because of removal of all the lactic acids from the cells throughout the night so when you take rest blood flow is normalized to the cells and it takes out all the lactic acid and then the muscles get relieved of the lactic acid as well as the cramp and pain